Welcome to part 10 of our uh, creating game character uh, tutorial. So in this tutorial, uh, let's go ahead and plug in uh, some kind of a motion capture so we can see how well our uh, character deforms and also see maybe uh, there's some issues or things that we need to fix. So this is where we ended in part nine. Um, we finished rigging the cape and the sword. And now let's uh, grab a um, motion capture from uh, Mixamo. All right, so here's a uh, one that I think would work well. The character's kind of running fast. And what we would have to do is maybe, you know, our character is gonna hold the sword, right? So we can, we, we need to customize the right arm. And of course the cape, right, is also gonna have to be uh, kind of adjusted to work with this animation. So let's go ahead and download this. So I'm going to say download and I'm going to grab the FBX um, and 30 frames per second is fine. Um, I don't need the skin. So I'm going to say without skin. I don't need this blue uh, robot looking guy. And I'm going to simply say uh, download. All right, so go ahead and do the same or pick the animation that you like. And let's go ahead and meet back in uh, Maya. All right, so the next uh, step for uh, this would be to obviously import the running animation that we grabbed from Mixamo. So let's, let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna say File, Import. All right, I'm gonna uh, select running.fbx from Mixamo. And on the bottom left, you can see it's being imported right now. Once the file is imported, I can see in the outliner uh, a new item was added. So here it is. We can go ahead and isolate it if we needed to. And we can also see in the timeline uh, the red lines indicating how big the animation is. So in this case, uh, if we take a closer look, you could see that it's actually uh, 15 frames but because we uh, downloaded our animation at 30 frames per second the misalignment is happening um, because of our current project is set to 24 frames per second so let's go ahead and change this to 30 to match the fbx file that we downloaded and as soon as we do that we can now see that all the red lines are now aligned with the timeline of our project and the total number is 19, right? So I'm gonna go uh, here and change this to 19 as well. And let's go ahead and press play. So this looks very similar to what we uh, saw um, in the Mixamo library preview, right? It's looking really cool. Now the uh, one thing that we need, that we must do uh, in order to plug this into our characters, we have to define it, right? Now Maya doesn't know um, the uh, default, we need to set the default uh, typos. So to do this, what I uh, like to do is I go to um, minus one. So that shifts the timeline to, um, to the left, right? So this is gonna be the sequence and then minus one is kind of an extra one hiding uh, here on the side. So I'm gonna uh, right click on the middle pelvis and do a select hierarchy to make sure that every single joint is selected. Then I'm gonna go to channel box and change my rotate values to zero. They uh, say zero now, but that's because it's only showing uh, only one of the joints. If we, uh, it, it, it's not capable of showing you the rotation for all the joints. So we're gonna select them all and just press zero anyways and press enter. And that's going to put our character um, from Mixamo in the T-pose, just like uh, to match our um, default stand as well, right? And the next thing you want to do is you want to define this skeleton. So to do that, I'm going to go to human IK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say source is none. And I need to create a character definition. So I'm going to do that. Um, if we wanted to, we can actually uh, rename this. Let's call this Mixamo. Now we just have to define each joint. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna double click on the hips and click on my character. 
you can see this is now green. And instead of going through the whole uh, skeleton, what I could do is I could just say open. And the template is by default is set to human IK. And I can just simply say OK. That will automatically uh, go through each joint and link it to, uh, to the proper definition. And now what I could do is I no longer need this minus one. So I'm actually going to switch this to zero. Press back. And what we need to do uh, now is let's jump out of the isolation mode. Let's go ahead and pick our character in the drop list, drop down list. Uh, at this point, our character is called character one. And the source for our character is going to be the Mixamo character. So we want to uh, essentially uh, mimic or copy the movements of the Mixamo uh, avatar, right? Or a character. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see that our character uh, goes into the same position. If we didn't want to see the joints from the Mixamo character, we can always come down here, select it and press H to just simply hide it. So we're only looking at ours. And let's go ahead and press play. All right, so uh, there's a few issues. Obviously, the main ones being we need to adjust the cape, right? So the cape looks uh, like it should probably be moving uh, a little bit higher as well as well as the sword um, cannot be going through his leg. So let's go ahead and work on the sword on the sword first. All right. So how do we do this? Well, the first step we need to do is transfer the animations from the Mixamo uh, rig over to ours. So to do this, I'm going to click on this blue uh, button and I'm going to go to bake and do a bake to uh, control rig. So let's go ahead and press that. All right, as soon as we've done that, you can see that we have all the red uh, keyframes appear on our character instead of uh, being linked to the Mixamo one. And you can see that the source of the animation is now coming from the control rig of our character one instead of coming from the Mixamo. So you can see that even, uh, even if you delete this, and we can go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and just pr press delete. If I delete this from the outliner, our character is still going to perform the same animation because the animation is now baked into the controllers of our character, right? Which is fantastic because now we can modify the animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the uh, let's go ahead and select this controller, the shoulder controller. And I'm simply going to uh, I'll leave the first keyframe, but I'm going to delete all other ones. So to do this, I'm going to click on frame one, hold down the shift key and just drag all the way to frame 19, right click and go to delete. And as soon as I have uh, done that, you can see that only the first keyframe is in place, right? And now if you play the animation, the arm is no longer animated because we literally deleted all the keyframes for that shoulder or that arm, right? So we can now even control the sword by maybe moving it back just to see. And you can see that the sword will stay in place um, where we left it, right? So that is uh, pretty cool. All right, so let's figure out what we want our sword to, um, where we want our sword to be when he's running. So maybe it's kind of to his side and we do want some motion, right? So I'm going to go to, I'm going to copy frame uh, zero, go to frame 19 and I'm going to paste it. I want to make sure that this is indeed a uh, loop. And then what I'm going to do is go to frame nine, which is about halfway. And maybe let's bring it down a little bit, right? And let's go see, let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So now it feels like it's part of his run cycle, but it's not, uh, you know, going through his mesh. 
All right, very nice. The next thing I would like to do is maybe let's close his fingers. Uh, to do this, we can uh, unhide the uh, the yellow uh, part of the rig. So these are the controllers. You can see the controllers are being uh, flashed on and off. And this is kind of the FK and the IK uh, joints that control sort of the initial skeleton. So if I turn everything off, you can see this is our initial skeleton that we uh, used for rigging, but we cannot animate this, uh, not, not at least in this mode. So for that, you do want to, if you do want to create any specific animations using the uh, forward kinematics, you want to animate these uh, yellow ones, right? The yellow rig. So just a quick tip. But for the fingers, let's go ahead and turn off the forward kinematics. And let's see if we can just use the controllers to uh, close, the, uh, close the hand or maybe make it look like he's holding the um, handle a little bit better, right? So I'm gonna press F and I'm gonna zoom in on my arm. And let's go ahead and see if we can just simply close it. Another thing we could do is maybe uh, we could turn this on. And if you find that the um, forward kinematics is kind of large, we could go to display and we could go to um, animation and go to uh, join size. And mine is uh, currently set to two. I'm not really sure why it needs to be uh, definitely one or even smaller. So in my case, I would like it to be kind of at this scale 0.5 so I can see it even better. And um, this will allow you to move the joints into a better position, but you can't use the move tool. You can only use the rotate. Tool. All right, so you can only rotate this. You cannot move it. So in my case, it's actually not gonna be helping me. All right, so the next thing I need to do is, uh, you can clearly see that my pinky is kind of uh, going through uh, the sword handle. And that's because the sword is not uh, well aligned with the hand. So what I could do is I can grab this uh, joint and let's go ahead and rotate it to match the hand a little bit better where it's looks a little more uh, natural and makes a little more sense. So maybe something like this is a little bit better. And I'm gonna take this finger. And let's go ahead and bring it over here. All right, I think that uh, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and press play. Now we uh, created uh, we created the grip for the fingers, but I honestly forgot to go to frame zero, which means what we need to do is let's go ahead and uh, click on the right hand, which is this um, hand here, and I'm going to go inside this little thing. Um, I'm going to hold down the control key and select each finger controller. While this is selected, I'm gonna right click and say copy, go to frame zero and do a paste. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna delete all other keyframes, just like we've done before. Go to frame 19 and also do a paste. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom out and press play. Now you can see the arm is kind of uh, holding the handle the entire time. All right, very cool. The other thing that I would like to fix is, there's a couple things left um, that I'm not happy about. One of them, if I pause, you can see the muscle bulge right here seems a little bit uh, unnatural. I would like to see if we can maybe fix that. And again, the, the cape, right? So let's go ahead and deal with the cape first. So for the cape, I would like to select my joint and I'm going to, on frame zero, press S and I'm going to move this up just a little bit. 
Now you can see that the cape is being pulled down because some of the uh, cape verts are actually connected uh, to the legs, right? You could see that some of the uh, influence there, but I almost don't mind that because that's create to me that's creating kind of a fun uh, dynamic look. If you wanted to disconnect the cape from the legs, uh, we could do that as well. So maybe let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go to uh, from the, I'm gonna go from the source to none, and let's go ahead and go to stance first. So we can kind of reset our character and then let's go to none and now let's go ahead and cl click on the cape and go to uh, skin paint skin weights options all right and let's um click on the leg and see what is being influenced. So you can clearly see that the bottom of the cape is actually linked to his foot, right? And we don't want that. So um, to fix this, we can always go to replace and let's go ahead and set the value to zero and say flood to unlink this piece from the leg. And we can also do the same uh, for the other, uh, chains as well so i'm gonna say i'm just gonna go up the leg and just make sure that it's not um i'm okay for it to be linked to some of the hips i, I kind of like some of that influence but i don't think i we want to have it uh, linked to the leg at all right so let's go ahead and do the same thing with the right leg just let's flood it and disconnect it from the leg completely all right um let's see what else needs to be adjusted? Some of these points uh, look kind of strange. So one of the things we could do is let's go ahead and turn off our joints. Select the part of the mesh that's in question, which is kind of this area. Like right here, especially. And let's go ahead and go back to uh, paint skin weights and use this uh, hammer tool to average out all the verts. And that should fix some of these strange issues that are that we're seeing. So I'm gonna say uh, average. And sure enough, you can see that the, the cape kind of straightened out. And I'm still not 100% sure what uh, this influence here is. So let's go ahead and jump out of the verts and I'm gonna select my cape again. Go to, let's, let's go ahead and look at the hips. So the hips are, I think are pulling this uh, down. Let's see if I can disconnect. Yeah, that's, that's uh, that was the culprit. So I'm struggling with uh, figuring out if I want some of the hips affecting the cape or not. So I think in this case, I don't. All right, I think this is gonna give us more control of the cape. All right, really, uh, very nice. Let's go ahead and jump back into the control rig and go back to sort of uh, working on our animation. I'm gonna uh, select the, uh, make sure I can, select the joints up here. And let's go ahead and do the same thing on frame 19 as, um, as this. So I'm gonna say copy Go to frame 19 and do a paste. All right, so now our cape is just gonna be kind of stuck in the uh, in the same position. So maybe when he brings his foot down, the top joint can kind of come down. And then when it comes back up, maybe it can jump back up. So something like that. Let's review this. All right, starting to look uh, a little bit better. Next, let's go ahead and animate uh, the next chain, the next joint uh, down. So that's gonna be this one. I'm gonna press S. I'm gonna go to 19 and press S. And this time maybe about halfway, I can move the middle joint up. All right, let's review and see what that looks like. 
nice. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the last joint. I'm gonna press S, go to 19, press S, and then halfway down, maybe this guy can uh, turn and maybe we can figure out if he wants to be shorter or longer, maybe a little bit longer. So you need to take the time and, and make and, and see what works uh, on your on your um, on your side. For for me, I think something like this uh, makes sense. And of course, I can take more time, but I'm just sort of showing you the basics of uh, animating the cape. And you can even readjust some of the weights if you needed to, but. Um, Let's go ahead and stop here, and I can spend more time polishing the animation uh, on my end, but you get the idea of how it's done and how it's being controlled. So the next thing uh, is, let's go ahead and see if we can fix this bulge here, right? So some of this uh, seems a little bit uh, unnatural. So how do we fix it? Well, to fix it, we can uh, go back into uh, None, and while uh, selecting the mesh, we can go back into uh, paint skin weight. And let's go ahead and look at this influence here and see what's going on. Maybe one of the things I could try is go to smooth. I'm gonna do a soft brush, make my brush kind of large. And let's see if we can maybe uh, relax some of these points here. Another thing I could try is go to vert, maybe grab all of these guys. Here, all the ones that I'm not happy with. And let's go back into uh, painting mode and try this weight hammer. And you can see that that uh, created a much better uh, feel for, for that leg. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other leg. So I'm gonna go back into control rig and I like the right leg better. Let's see if we need to do the same thing for the left leg. I think so. Let's go ahead and select uh, this, go to verts and we can uh, uncheck our joints and let's turn off the handles. And I really just wanna select all of these guys here. All right, I'm gonna go back into, let's jump uh, back into uh, skin weight and do another uh, hammer, all right. Very cool. And we stayed in the control rig, which is uh, super cool that it allows us to do that. And now let's go ahead and press play. All right, so here it is. We have the running animation of the character holding a sword with the uh, cape being animated. And um, you can even uh, do more with the head. The head kind of feels a little uh, stiff to me. So maybe let's go ahead and take a look at the head as well real quick. Uh, for the head, I'm going to turn back my controllers. I'm going to turn off the FK. Let's select the head. And let's see what's going on here. So he's kind of holding it in place. I, I would love to have the head maybe bop a little more. So what I'm going to do is while this controller is selected, I'm going to delete all these frames. And honestly, I can uh, leave the 19. So let's go ahead and delete one to 18. So delete these. And maybe when he comes down here on frame nine, 
Let's go ahead and take his head and just bring it down. And see uh, what that feels like. I kind of like this better. I think that adds a little uh, character to to the head, and you can of course play around. So I feel like my uh, cape is still a little bit stiff. I would like to adjust that maybe a little bit better. Let's go ahead and. All right, you guys, I'm not the uh, best uh, animator in the world, but you get the idea. So at this point, what we could do is uh, if we want to preview everything without uh, the joints, we can just hide the joints. We can also hide the controllers and get a really uh, good idea of how our, our uh, animation is looking. All right, so this is looking really cool. Uh, the one thing that is still uh, jumping out at me is his left arm seems a little bit too dramatic, right? Because especially the right arm is holding the sword in place. Um, I'm not uh, loving the right arm. So I'm gonna click on the, sh the left, I'm sorry, the left shoulder. And I'm going to see if we can tone this down a little bit. So. The arm is really swinging high a lot, like right here. And I, I think what I'm going to do is, I don't mind when it goes back like this, but I don't love when he goes up so high. So maybe from this point on to like here, we can delete all these. So let's go ahead and delete 7 to 15, just delete it completely and just see what happens. So at, at this point here, maybe he can go up a little bit, but not uh, quite as much. Maybe a little more. Let's see how this feels. Yeah, I think that's a little better. I, I felt like uh, him swinging his arm all the way up in the air didn't really feel uh, natural, right? All right, so I hope you got a good uh, starting point on understanding how to work with the animations and uh, tweak them. If you wanna uh, bring this into a game engine and you're done uh, messing around with the control rig, all you need to do is just simply uh, bake your animations to the skeleton. So what Maya will do um, is it's going to bake all of the animations on each control to the joints. And once you do that, you can simply select um, your character. So you want to select everything uh, as far as the meshes go. And then you also want to select the joints, right? So let's go ahead and turn this back on. So if I click on this here, you can see the entire set has been selected. You don't need this for the game engine. Um, you just need the reference uh, or the joints themselves. So if you grab the joints and then you grab the mesh, right, which is the character, the sword and the cape, this is all you need to do to export out as an FBX file for a game engine, you know, such as uh, Unity or, um, Unreal or wherever else you're gonna put this in. All right, so I uh, I hope you had uh, fun following this uh, ten part uh, tutorial. If you have any specific questions about this character or would like to see uh, something else, let me know. But I think let's go ahead and end here and uh, have fun uh, playing around in uh, Maya. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you next one.